Now we've come to scenes we'd like to see. So if everyone can make their way to the performance area, please. I'll read out this week's topics and then we'll see what our panellists can come up with. Right, here we go. The first subject is... <laughs> unlikely things to hear on Crime Watch. But before we see tonight's crime, <laughs> let's meet the judges. <laughs> Police say they are looking for a black man in his 20s and that they always will be. <laughs> Do you recognise this man? Thought not. It's Nick Clegg. <laughs> <laughs> they say criminals always return to the scene of a crime, which is why we've probably got so many Australians over here. <laughs> Coming up next week, we'll be trying to solve the murders of the people who phoned up giving information on criminals this week. <laughs> Today, we're looking at identity theft. I'm... <laughs> All the victims are deaf, dumb or blind. These are senseless killings. <laughs> Baffled police are appealing for help. Do you know where Wally is? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, if you're being interrogated by the police and they're recording the interview, just make sure that every so often you go... Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, the great train robbery. London to Glasgow, £235 return. <laughs> Tonight, we're looking for the man who keeps on burgling my home every time I present this programme. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Crime Watch. I'm your host, Ray Winson. Leave it, you slag! <laughs> Don't go camping in the countryside. Have you noticed that whenever the police find a body, it's always in a tent? <laughs> Hello, I'm Nick Ross, and tonight I'm asking, who stole my fucking job? <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Unlikely things to hear in a TV election debate. The truth. <laughs> <laughs> Labour, ready! Tories, ready! <laughs> Bring on the wall! <laughs> I think of this studio as a second home, which is why I'm claiming expenses for it. <laughs> <laughs> and the lines have closed. Gordon, it could be you. David, <laughs> it could be you. Nick, it's not going to be <laughs> you. <laughs> we in the Tory party are going to give the north of England a huge boost and then all the people can come out and lick the chocolate off it. <laughs> <laughs> if you're elected, you'll raise taxes. If your mum's elected, she will. <laughs> <laughs> it's me who got you into this mess, and it's him that will get you out of it. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of that round, Gordon, you've scored no points. <laughs> I'm really very, very proud of my working class roots. Uh, when I was growing up, we only had an outside toilet. Eventually, we got enough money to buy a house. <laughs> Cheryl, tonight you're going to be mentoring the Lib Dems. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know, Pick. What's your real name? <laughs> How will we shorten waiting lists? Simple. By letting the weak die. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! <coughs> I am the Messiah. <laughs> and the Queen is a biscuit. 
<laughs> I am almost certain that was a floating voter. <laughs> <laughs> Unlikely things to hear at an award ceremony. Our next award is for most inaccurate weather forecast of the year. Let's look at the 9,000 nominees. <laughs> Welcome to the Islamic Awards for Acting, or as we call them, the Moscas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, God, so many people to thank. Um, where to begin? Uh, obvious one, I suppose, Hitler. Uh, <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> And the award for best envelope glue goes to... <laughs> <laughs> now, Teacher of the Year. Quieten down. It's your own time you're wasting. <laughs> time now for us to celebrate some of the stars of show business who sadly are still with us. <laughs> I'll just open the envelope. Uh, oh, it's full of gold. <laughs> <laughs> and the award for special effects goes to the team behind Gordon Brown's smile. <laughs> and now we're going to watch a film showing some of the people that we've lost this year, including two you didn't even know were dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'd bang that, I'd bang that, wouldn't bang that, I'd bang that. <laughs> anyway, the award for best actress goes to... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Accident at Work Awards. <laughs> <laughs> and winner of the Suicide Bomber of the Year. I'm afraid they couldn't be with us tonight. <laughs> And the winner of the best scientist in physics is... There's no ramp, Stephen Hawkins. It's not you. <laughs> <laughs> the next category is things you wouldn't want to hear on a cruise. This is your captain speaking. Welcome to Somali cruising. <laughs> We've heard reports of an iceberg, but don't worry, no ship has ever been sunk by a lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to Ryanair Cruises. The following safety announcement is incredibly vital if you want to stay alive. And if you'd like to hear that, that'll be an extra five pounds. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we very rarely get any injuries from people playing quoits. You were just unlucky to be sunbathing naked with an erection. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, we were on this last year when it sunk. <laughs> if you look to your left, there's a man-eating squid. After that, he's having chips. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to apologise for the rocking of this boat, but we are currently being humped by a whale. <laughs> Hey, thanks for coming to the show. I've got to be honest, it's been a while since I've sung this one. Do you want to be my gang, my gang? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Rita's Erotic Ping Pong Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> Two fat ladies, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All the threes, 33. <laughs> oh, some hobnobs. <laughs> For those of you gathering on the car deck, I said we would soon be docking, not dogging. <laughs> I'm looking for a really old husband with money. How's your heart? <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm in the cabin next to yours. Yeah. Could you be a bit noisy when you're having sex? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there appears to have been an incident in the swimming pool. If a Mr. Barrymore could contact the captain. <laughs> Unlikely things to hear in a fitness video. <laughs> Oi, we're going to Ross Kemp on leotards. <laughs> <laughs> now I'd like all you ladies to turn around, face away from me, bend over and touch your toes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a 
Madonna. I'm a 50-year-old woman with the body of a 40-year-old man. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Michael Owen. Welcome to my fit... Oh, no, it's gone again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Masturbate Yourself Thin. <laughs> Remember, swap arms or you'll end up looking like a wonky Popeye. <laughs> Want to have the type of body to drive your friends' wives crazy? Hi, I'm John Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, today I'm on a Swiss ball. Uncomfortable, particularly for the Swiss man it belongs to. <laughs> Hey, wanna lose weight and gain a friend? Why not insert a tapeworm? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm the living proof that you can exercise yourself straight. <laughs> Everybody wants a six pack. I do, and I've already had five of them. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Cheryl Cole. Welcome to my Boxercise video. Now, for this first workout, you're going to need a Nigerian toilet attendant and a really good lawyer. <laughs> OK, go on. See if you can raise your leg as high as I can. I bet you can't, because I'm Heather Mills. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Unlikely lines to hear in a Hollywood blockbuster. Nemo, where the fuck have you been? <laughs> Look, Mr. Bond, do you want to hire the Ford Focus or not? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Vader, we are the Child Support Agency. <laughs> you want the truth. You can't handle the truth. Welcome to the Fox News Channel. <laughs> Warning, this film contains Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> Spider-Man, look out! It's rolled up newspaper man! <laughs> <clears throat> oh, excuse me, sorry, where do you want to go, Hans? <laughs> It he got bone. <laughs> M, I've worked out what to do with Goldfinger. What we do is we put him in a big envelope, mark cash my gold. <laughs> what do you think of my father's for justice costume, Robin? Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> cracking heroin, Gromit. <laughs> Look, I, I'm just an ex-Prime Minister standing before an Iraq inquiry, asking them to love him. <laughs> <laughs> oi! 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 Hermione! Kokos in Gorgio! <laughs> so this mission is impossible. <laughs> Let's not bother. <laughs> Andy Dufresne. When he walked into Shawshank, I knew he was fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Revenge will be mine, Mr. Bond, when we meet in small claims court. <laughs> Use the force, Luke! And if that doesn't work, turn it off and turn it back on again. <laughs> Unlikely things to read in a Valentine's Day card. I may be dyslexic. But that doesn't mean I don't vole you. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. I've got something nasty, and now so do you. You make me so hot, I can't stop thinking about you. Lots of love, Mum. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day on this 24th of February. Love, Royal Mail. You're the perfect person for me. Pissed and gagging for it. <laughs> Be my valentine or die in a well. 
I love your eyes, I love your nose, I love your smell. Why must you be a Labrador? <laughs> <laughs> Do we have to go through this shit every year? <laughs> You make my pants hot. <laughs> Yours, Omar Farouk Abdul Mutalab. <laughs> to my darling wife, roses are red, violets are blue. Valentine's Day is consumerist bullshit. Now, haven't you got some ironing to do? <laughs> roses are red, poppies are red, the grass is all red. Shit, the garden's on fire! <laughs> I'm a bit of a man for the ladies. Doesn't matter how clearly the gents are signposted. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you like no other. But never again les up with my mother. <laughs> Life with me, baby, is like a roller coaster. It's got a weight restriction. <laughs> <laughs> There are just three words I want to say. Dream on, bitch. <laughs> OK, next topic is... ..on life with you here in the science programme. 1643. The cold air balloon is invented. <laughs> but it doesn't really take off. <laughs> For Einstein, it was easy to choose a DJ name. He would be MC Squared. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr Gillian McKeith, and today I'll be sifting through your poop. Why? <laughs> because I was never hugged as a child. <laughs> <laughs> now on five, crop circles, myth or bollocks? <laughs> Next, to demonstrate chaos theory, we've locked Boris Johnson in a room with an aardvark and some magic mushrooms. <laughs> I was the man who discovered DNA. I wasn't going to call it that, but I was giving a lecture to the Royal Society, and I said, gentlemen, I believe I've discovered the genetic fingerprint of all human life. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> I've been Richard Dawkins. Good night, and God bless. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Thanks to carbon dating, this skeleton is now going out with a short-sighted geology student who likes thin people that don't talk much. <laughs> 1891. Sir Alexander Graham Benn receives the first wrong number telephone call. <laughs> he realised that this equation was going to take him absolutely years. So he switched to a media studies course, which was a piece of piss. <laughs> I did have here a pie chart to demonstrate obesity. <laughs> Apart from the human, the only animal to enjoy having sex is a dolphin. I had to shag a lot of animals to find that out. <laughs> I'm a meerkat, she's not lying. <laughs> Tonight we'll be discussing molecular science. Our guests are Sir Patrick Moore, Robert Winston and Dappy off of N-dubs. <laughs> <laughs> With their tiny arms, could the T-Rex self-pleasure? Let's find out in another edition of Wanking with Dinosaurs. <laughs> Unlikely things to get through your letterbox. Royal Mail parcel delivery. We called, you were in, so we ran away before you could answer. <laughs> Just three pounds a month will save last year's X Factor winner from starving. <laughs> Do you know what's in your attic? It's me, I've been there since Christmas. <laughs> Have you seen this dog? No, maybe your windows are too dirty. Oh, heaven, the window cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> Are you looking for a dog walking service? Then call Ace Kebabs on 318 318. 
Computer problems? Let me come round and swear at it. <laughs> Why has your girlfriend stopped changing near the window? Love, Dad. <laughs> Pizza. Buy one, pay full price. <laughs> How's my driving? Call 0800 crashed into your house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear Miss Winehouse, congratulations on turning 100. Best wishes, the Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Need a room clearing? Call me. I'll come round and fart in it. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for an undertaker? Why not call Ace Kebabs <laughs> on 318? <laughs> Right. Gardening service, middle of the night a speciality. Call Rose West on Broadmoor. <laughs> too, <laughs> too soon, too soon. <laughs> Hello, my name's Ashley Cole. Here's a picture of me naked. <laughs> Would you recognise a fake ID? No? Great, I'll be back in ten minutes. <laughs> The Taj Mahal Indian restaurant, formerly Ace Kebabs. <laughs> <laughs> Open your letterbox. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get through one day. <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Things you wouldn't hear at the Winter Olympics. And here are the British ice dance pair, Heather Mills and John Sargent. <laughs> and now, over to Bob Sled. Bob, how's the curling? <laughs> <laughs> and while we wait for them to get set up there, we'll just pan the camera around. There's just a beautiful scenery. Oh, look, there's a herd of moose. Oh, no, that's the uh, Romanian women's ice hockey team. <laughs> This is the big hill. Oh, that's long! That's very long! He's gonna wish he'd done his flies up. <laughs> <laughs> it's 1 a.m. in the UK. You're watching the women's figure skating. Why not just bite the bullet and turn to Television X for the 10 minute <laughs> preview? <laughs> <laughs> mm. And Britain comes away with two gold, two silver, and a bronze. Well, that'll teach the Austrians a lesson for leaving their locker open. <laughs> and with conditions here reaching a bitter minus 20 degrees centigrade, the British hopeful from Newcastle has put on a second string vest. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching the women's curling. Men's curling? Women's. You're watching the curling. <laughs> No one has more experience on the ice than him. What a wonderful games it's been so far for Pingu. <laughs> <laughs> and the conditions are perfect here, aren't they, John? Yes, they are, Bob. I haven't seen this much white powder since that stag weekend at the hotel in my car. <laughs> oh, and that's what ice hockey is all about. A man having his head repeatedly smashed into a glass wall. <laughs> <laughs> the ski jump will start as soon as the British skier takes his hand off the side and stops crying. <laughs> and there, the skier has surprisingly stopped off halfway down for a mulled wine and a shit. <laughs> Yeah, that round. The points go to Russell Ed and Andy.